Hello everyone, you are welcome back again. We are going to solve for the value of x from this equation. We are given that 4 raised to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. Then we are going to solve for the value of x. So this is an exponential equation because the variable we are going to look for appear in the exponent. So the first thing we are going to recall is multiplication property of indices. Recall that when we have a raised to the power of x multiplied by a raised to the power of y, this is the same as a raised to the power of x plus y because when the bases are the same and there's multiplication, just write one of the base and add the power. So we're going to apply this property to the left hand side of this equation. So as you can see, 4 for the bases are the same. So all we need to do is to write one of the base which is 4, then we add the power. So as you can see, the first power is x, the second power is x, so x plus x is going to give us 2x. So everything will be equal to 40. So the next thing we're going to do, as you can see, if you look at this equation, there's no way we can balance the base. So we're going to take the log of both sides to be 10. So we take the log of the left hand side, which is going to be log 4 raised to the power of 2x to the base of 10, which is equal to log of 40 to the base of 10. Now we're going to recall power property of logarithm. When we have log of m raised to the power of n, this is the same as what n log m. So the power of the term you are taking the log is going to go back to multiply the log. So when we apply this property to the left hand side, this power here, 2x is going to come back to multiply log of 4 to the base of 10, which is equal to log 40. So remember, we are looking for the value of x. So now, if you look at the left hand side, we have 2 and log 4 attached to x, which is called the coefficient of x. So we are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So we divide the left hand side by 2 log 4, then also the right hand side by what 2 log of 4. So that this log 4 will cancel this log 4, 2 will cancel 2, we are left with just x in the left hand side, which is going to be equal to log of 40, then divided by 2 log 4. So the next thing we are going to do, you know, we are not going to stop at here, we are going to simplify further. We recall that this 40 can also be written as what 4 multiplied by 10, which is the same as 40. So we are going to rewrite 40 as 4 multiplied by 10. So when we do that, we are going to have x will be equal to log of 40 is going to be 4 multiplied by 10, then everything over 2 log 4. So the next thing we are going to do is to recall this property also. When we have log of a multiplied by b this can be simplified as what well, log of a plus log of b this is one of the property of logarithm so we're going to apply this property to this numerator whereby we rewrite this expression in terms of in form of this so we're going to have x will be equal to log of 4 then plus log of 10 so written in this form we're going to have this so everything over 2 log 4. So now from here, what do you notice? You know, the denominator is just 2 log 4, which is only one term. So we recall that when we have a plus b over c, which is in form of this, this can be simplified as what a over c plus b over c. So they can share the denominator. So when we apply this property to this expression, we are going to have x will be equal to log of 4 over 2 log 4 then plus log of 10 over log of 4. So now we are going to see if we can cancel anything. So x will be equal to here we have log 4 over log 4. So this is going to cancel. We are left with just 1 over 2 plus sorry here is going to be 2 log 4 because we are they are sharing the same denominator over 2 log 4 over 2 log 4 so that we can factor out this 1 over 2 outside then we are going to remain with just log of 10 over log of 4 right so the next thing we are going to do is to recall that inside this bracket we are going to recall that when we have log of a over log of b which is in this form this is what we call changing of base this can be written as well log of a to the base of b so this is equivalent to this this is one of the property of logarithm so we're going to apply this property into into this bracket 
so that we are going to have x will be equal to so as you can see 1 over 2 1 over 2 is common so let's factor out 1 over 2 then we open bracket so 1 over 2 divide 1 over 2 is going to be 1 plus this 1 over 2 will just cancel this 1 over 2 then log 10 over log 4 is in this form written in this form is going to be what log of 10 to the base of 4 so here is the final simplification of this exponential equation thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more video like it thanks 